And it's now Sunday. You don't have your hat on though. You took it off. Yes. I'll come <laughs> back to you on a hat. <laughs> hey, it still counts. You can take my picture. I'm not really cosplaying. Hey. I see you. Let me see this. Hello. It's Princess you have to Noodle. Say, you guys gonna say it's the username? Yeah, you don't know what I was like. My Princess Noodle. Hi. <laughs> What's the stream for? Like on Twitch. Okay. Ah. My, I forget my Twitch username. So. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's the start of Sunday. Things are starting to pick up a little bit. Slow start as usual. I've been meeting lots of awesome peeps. The first people who came to my table were Grace and Katrina. Grace is in the streams a lot as Grace Petty. Grace painted this. Look at this. By the rainbow. <laughs> and then the, the Skittles are little Copic colors. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> There's also some other little goodies. This card and this flamingo. So I told myself I wouldn't buy any prints, or try not to anyway. That's why yesterday I bought like keychains and necklace, whatever. I was looking for art books, but there's not a whole lot out here. It's mostly comics. But there's this one print. I forgot to go back for it because it's the first row behind me. Like it was the first, one of the first booths I looked at and I was like, I'll be back. Um, there's this gorgeous skeleton print. The actual, the original art, like the big original is hanging there. So gorgeous. <laughs> I'm like, I at least need a print, man. It's just too nice, so I might go get that. But where do I put it? I still have five prints from Annie Revo that I haven't hung up yet. I keep forgetting I can make them into a book. Like get a big portfolio thing, just stick them all in there, and it's basically like an art book, and I can flip through it. But I also just want it hung up and displayed. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go get it. Christian just brought up an excellent point. We don't have any paintings hanging in our bedroom. But I'm like never in there unless I'm going to sleep. Okay, so I could not just get the 11 by 17 because this is like one of my favorite things I've ever seen in my life. This needs to go into my art room. I'm gonna have to take something down to replace with this. Look, look, look. I feel like we're getting too much glare here. Let me lay, lay it down or something. There's still glare. Yeah, that, that's easy but look, yeah, I just can't. <sighs> it's so good. This is the artist, Lisa Lindsay. There's her info in case you want to grab something yourself. But huh, <laughs> I'm in love. Also, the business card is a mini one. Yee. I just moved the magnets over there because now that the defective sticker case is gone, it's just so empty. And then I could pull the book stuff forward. Like one has the business cards, one has the book. So those are more forward, more visible, easier to reach the book, all that good stuff. Also, since I'm showing all the goodies I've been receiving this con, I want to show you this drawing from Shreya. I was saying how I like how it's grayscale and then you see just color in the hair, see the pink. I love it. So, I'm going to apply for the next fan expo, but I just don't know. I'm trying to decide how many tables I want. I feel like one and a half is the perfect size, because if I'm going to have an extra button case next time, like where am I going to fit everything, especially if I want my big display but because the tables are more expensive at fan expo i'm like well maybe i should do double table at like other cons and just do single table here just suck it up and have a smaller setup it's hard once you have a taste of the good life that's all you want i'm like all i want is double tables now but considering my sales haven't really been boosted enough to justify the cost of the double table compared to how much i make at single tables it's like mm. now i'm changing my mind again and i feel like i should get a double table because i well one i'm still gonna have those tote bags to get rid of at some point and Honestly, the next Fan Expo might be my next con since March 1st. Also, I want to do enamel pins. So where am I going to put everything? So maybe I should do double <laughs> I think I will. Honestly, yeah, I'm going to do it. Another double table. <laughs> I don't think I even want the end cap because when I was walking around, I felt like I was skipping the end caps and a lot of people were because it's just like, it, it is busier, but it's so much that people are just trying to squeeze by them, not even looking at the tables. So I think I'm just going to go with two standards. Okay, my form is filled out, and I am saving 50 bucks by applying early. I might want to look into getting a giant accordion folder that can fit big prints. I'm sure those exist. Something that'll fit all these. Because I've used those in the past, but I didn't for the big prints. Because that would be a little easier. <laughs> Some of these are getting pretty low. I can't remember if I made any cat bugs this morning. Like I had it on my list to make four. And I'm like, did I actually do them or did I miss him by accident? There's only three left. 
Can't remember. Ryuk, I should have had on the list. I was gonna put him on the list and forgot. And then Deku is also extremely low. I thought I had tons of the My Hero ones left, but I guess not. It's the end of the day. I'm taking everything down. We're mostly done. Just gotta stack everything on the dolly, really. Okay, we're all packed up. This looks way easier than when I came because I don't have that big black container. I, I've already brought that case home. I'm just gonna carry this separately though, so nothing gets wrecked. Goodbye, Fan Expo. See you in four and a half months. Can you make it through? Woo! Okay, tally for the weekend, 2,404. So that's less than Annie Revo, which I think was over 3,000. And then Anime North was over 4,000. So that's where we're at. Whoa. The weekend is done. It feels good when you're done because like all the prep stress is over. Although I will have to start on the next fan expo soon. But my priority for the next week and a half or so is gonna be working on my Sora costume for Halloween. So that'll be my focus. But in November, I can get back to con prep. <laughs> And I'll have way more than three weeks this time. <laughs> I'm actually glad the next Fan Expo is so soon because I don't really want to commit a full year in advance. It's nice that it's like four and a half months away. I guess the main concern is would people want to come back only four and a half months later? Or are they like, we just did this con. And I don't mean vendors, I mean just like regular people showing up to do the con. <laughs> did I even show my outfit today? I'm wearing my pushing skirt, pushing and Care Bears. Yes, yes, I'm gonna pull on shirt, yes. So it's currently Tuesday, October 16th, and I had my stream today, and I am, I think, gonna work on a YouTube video. <laughs> I was kind of torn about it because I was gonna resume posting for tomorrow, Wednesday, and then I'm like, oh, well, it's kind of hard because yesterday I just kind of wanted a chillax day after all the con prep stuff and then doing the conventional weekend. I wanted to treat Monday kind of like a weekend, and I did. I did almost nothing other than like cleaning and dishes and all that kind of stuff, but <laughs> yeah, obviously not in here. The cleaning was not in this room, <laughs> upstairs mostly. But yeah, just not a good day mentally, but it was also kind of like my break day. Also, my tote bags finally came today. There are two designs and these were supposed to be for fan expo, but you know. <laughs> so there's one of the girl and dog, it's called Good Boy. And then one of the artsy buttons. So I guess I will save this for the next Fan Expo, which is probably my next con. I mean, who knows? It's March 1st to 3rd. And what's nice is I am mostly stocked for Fan Expo already. The only things I'll really need to restock are any new merch I make, which is not really restocking, that's just creating stock. So any new prints I do, I'd have to order those prints. And then any new sticker sheet designs I do, I'd have to make those sticker sheets. But I think a lot of the work is gonna be put into drawing new art. It's hard, because that's like the most time consuming thing is drawing new stuff. But I need to do that because I don't always want to sell the same things at every convention, especially if I do a lot of local conventions. I want people to have new things to choose from. Because it's no fun if every convention you go to it's just the same artist selling the same things. I was considering maybe getting a video up for tomorrow because I skipped last week's Wednesday, Wednesday and Saturday video. And I'm like, well, I can't really skip another Wednesday, but half a day is just not enough time to do a whole video, including editing it. Also, now that the con stuff is done, I'm really trying to stick to my thing where I stop working when Christian gets home unless I'm like sitting on the couch next to him drawing something on the iPad or whatever. Or if he has like an earlier shift where he's home fairly early, I might work a little bit more, but like I wanna get back to not being up late every night. I hate skipping videos, especially when I'm in town because my, my policy is if I'm out of town, I don't have to upload. I can if I do have time to prep something, but like I'm not committed to that. But when I am home, I just feel really bad and I didn't think I was going to be doing Fan Expo. When I when I upped my videos back to two days a week, I was like, well, I have no upcoming conventions, so yeah, yeah, let's increase uploads to two videos a week. And then I got Fan Expo and I was like, well. <laughs> and I was keeping up with the, the videos for the first two weeks of the prep, but just the week leading up to Fan Expo, I just could not keep up with it. And I feel really bad about not doing a video for tomorrow, but it would be something super rushed and crappy anyway. <sighs> I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer. 
I think it's better to wait and like do something I'm actually happy with instead of rushing to get something out because that's the whole thing is I don't want to have to rush videos out just for the sake of getting two videos a week out. So for the rest of the day I'm going to focus on cleaning while well, I just package some stuff to send off to people. I don't have like sales open right now this is just like gifts kind of to people and now I'm gonna fully clean this darn room. Hey, yeah, Kiki. I might even run to Superstore. Oh, I had a list somewhere. Maybe I'll find it when I start cleaning. It's on a little piece of pink paper, I think. And it's stuff I need to buy for my cosplay. I don't need to get that stuff today, but if I'm not working on a video, I could maybe quickly run to the store. <gasps> this is it. I could maybe do that before I even start cleaning. Okay, I'm finally back. And I thought I would show you what I got. I didn't actually find much of what I needed at Superstore, but then I realized that Walmart finally opened. So I was checking that out, but it's actually pretty small, which I figured it would be because I've been in that space before. And they don't have a craft or art department. They just have stationery. And I needed to go into the sort of crafting sewing department to find safety pins. And so I could not find safety pins anywhere. So, first of all, this is from Urban Behavior. They had 40% off store-wide, and it's cheap clothes to begin with. <laughs> so I got this coat thing. Really, I'm just getting this to cut up the fabric for my Sora cosplay. I just can't be bothered to go all the way to a fabric store. <laughs> then I finally found white gloves after going to several stores. Once I realized Walmart was open, I found them in there. They do have this fuzz on the inside, which shows a little bit, but I could just trim it down or I could just leave it. I just wanted some white fleece gloves like this. Sora's gloves technically have pointy tips, but I don't want to sell my own gloves. So regular ones will have to do. This is exactly what I wanted, minus like these things. <laughs> these are for touching your phone screen. And I guess minus the fuzz too. Perfect, I'm so happy. <laughs> and there's my safety pins, which I got from a dollar store that was right outside of Walmart. And I got a black belt. I wanted a fabric one and I managed to find one. I just think it'll match the look of the rest of the outfit better than the leather one. And I'll just paint blue edges on it. So that was also from Walmart. Actually, all the rest of this is from Walmart. No, never mind. There's two Superstore items. I got safety pins at Superstore and black eyeshadow just a matte black no glitter or anything in it because that's for the face makeup then a walmart gorilla tape because we just ran out recently and i got black spray paint also for the costume and then for styling the wig this is what people were recommending i use it got to be stuff so i found that at walmart as well because i couldn't find it at superstore so that is everything i got So it's not 100% cleaned yet, but most of it's clean. There's still some stuff on the desk, but it's pretty good. Probably got all those boxes put away and Christian came down at the right time to help me with the big box. <laughs> Part of me is tempted to put the skeleton painting here because this is the nicer frame, like actually swap frames, because this one kind of has a built-in mat because it has sort of a double frame. This is by Loish, by the way, people always ask. So yeah, it's kind of a, a double frame, which acts like a mat. The other one would probably match the whole Beauty and the Beast corner better too, compared to the skeleton. But at least when it's here and I'm sitting at my desk, I can look up and see 
that beautiful art. And then I put the Copic canvas right there. And then Tom's right there. I have a link print that I'm planning on just sticking up there. Maybe not in a frame, maybe just like Merida where I just stick it on there. And then I have my set of four avatar prints, which I want to get little frames for. And those I think would go upstairs. And then I have a big SpongeBob print, like a big poster size print, kind of like those ones. I need to get a frame for that. And there's not room for it in here, but I'm thinking of putting it. Yeah, I haven't unpacked that yet. Shh. I'm thinking of just putting it right here. All right, let's watch Haunting of Hill House. Why is it too spooky? She says, no, it's too spooky. Oh, she's actually whining because she wants us clothes so she can lay on it. There you go, Minu. How's that? Oh, yes. So nice. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Oh, my goodness. It's Kiki and Minda. Perfect. I love them so much. I was just squealing over them. I'm going to creep from behind. It's a kitty dressed as Peach. It's 4.45. I am tired. But I gotta stay up. I gotta make some buttons tonight because some of them are getting really low. So I'm gonna have to restock some. 